Hi everybody, welcome back to Bobby's Bees. And up in that tree is the first swarm on this property this year. You know, I had three things to do before the end of the night, but when I see a swarm in a tree like that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sure try to catch it. So that's our weeping willow, one of our weeping willows, and there's a lot of branches in the way. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might just reach up there and cut the whole branch off. There's so many branches when it comes to a weeping willow. So, but it looks like they're on several branches. So, I'm gonna get a couple ladders out and I'll keep it rolling. Okay, so the swarm's right there. I probably can reach in over here, but I'm probably gonna have to cut this branch. Maybe this branch. So we have our ladder set up. The six foot ladder is so we can set the nuke on top of it. The other ladder is for me to climb up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually touch the bottom of it and kind of scoop them up the branch. Let's get a closer look with the GoPro. So we are going to try to, to shake this whole long branch into one box. Wish us luck. It's that time of year, so we're gonna be coming out here when it's really hot. I was busy actually filming a food plot video for my Bobby's Bucks channel. But when I seen this, I say, hey, let's try and get that swarm. You know, they're always 200 bucks. You can catch this swarm and, and sell it to somebody. I try to put some of these frames back in. Trying to find that queen. Grab this last frame I dropped. Maybe we can get the bees to like that box. Some of them will still go after that branch. But once they realize that the queen's in this box, they should be fine. If the queen's in the box. So it looks like they chose the box. Uh, tonight I'm gonna come back 
and I'm gonna pick up the box and carry it over to the apiary. But first, I'm gonna probably suit up and push the top down, because uh, it looks like there was so many bees in there, I didn't want to kill like 100, 200 bees when they were just packed coming out of the hive. So I very carefully and softly put those frames in there until I felt that they bottomed out. And then once uh, I got all the frames in there, I lightly put the top on because at this point, I really didn't know if I was gonna have to come back and shake them again because if you don't get that queen in the box, they'll just go right back up to the limb. They'll ball up, cluster up, and you gotta do it all over again. So I like the sweeping willow. I planted this tree, um, I don't know, about five years ago. They grow really fast. I mean, it's so clogged up in here, but they grow really fast. They grow really well, and, and uh, so it's not gonna be a problem. But So, so hopefully uh, tomorrow after work, I'll come check out this hive. I'll bring you with me, and uh, you know, maybe I'll put them into a big 10 frame hive body. So let's go to tomorrow, the magic of video, and uh, we'll see if they're still there. cover right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this right next to them just like this and as soon as we're done we'll slide it right over All right, so here we go. So we got about, oh, I'd say about four frames of bees, which is great. Now the object is find the queen, find the queen. We got to mark the queen today. She's not on this frame, on that side anyway. Look at them, they're already drawing it out really good. That's great. Watch this. Now when I'm trying to find the queen, look for a big navy ship turning because queens are long body, they're, they're longer, bigger than every, every bee. They usually have a nice bright color. I mean, some queens are dark, but in most cases they have like a bright orange Yellow, there she is. Oh, she's already marked. So wow, that means we had, we had a queen, the old queen, she flew out of this box because we marked her and this is half the hive. So that's the, that's the queen, she's already marked. Really easy to spot when you mark them. So we're gonna put them in this big hive. And that means, that means a new queen took over in this box. Next, we're gonna check this box right next to us to make sure they're still in there. Maybe they just left that box. Maybe ants were a problem or Well, that made our job easy. Okay. Okay, just a quick little, and watch how we do this. We just put this simple inner cover over that's made out of a, a feed sack for my, for my chickens. This is chick feed. And then I put this on top. That's, that's it, and then I'll take this, I'll put it right on top, because maybe you got some bees in there that don't fly yet. Okay, look out, bee, I gotta try and slide over here. Okay, 
There we go. And we'll take this and we'll put this just like this and they'll be able to walk right in. And our next stop is in this hive because we very well might have an empty hive. Doesn't look like it. Let's see what we got here. No, we still got bees. Oh, there are a lot of ants. 